Greetings and welcome to Sankyaku Banrai here in Toyosu. This is uh, one of the newest tourist attractions in Tokyo and it's quite an interesting one. It's becoming famous because of its really expensive prices, but I came here because I wanted to give it a chance. And we're going to walk through here in this experience. I think that you're also going to decide whether or not this is for you. Uh, there's a lot of restaurants here, so most likely if you're coming here, it's because you're hungry and you want to eat. All right, it's really convenient, I think, which is on the uh, Yuri Kamomi line, the monorail that's self-driving from Toyosu or Shimbashi can get here. You basically just walking above ground. You never even have to go on the street level. Uh, this whole village is shaped or made to look like the Edo period, which is in itself kind of a cool concept. We're talking about before 19, uh, 1868 when the Meiji Restoration started. Everything was like made of wood back then. You had these shops and stands, street food, stalls. It, it, it was just a different way of life than, than uh, wasn't influenced by anything in the West, basically. And that's what you got when you walk through here. Now, ask the PR people in this, in this window here, you can get information, maps and whatnot in the uh, back here. There's a PR division and ask them, what does uh, Senkyaku Banrai mean? And, and, I guess the best way to explain it is just means a lot of customers. <laughs> it just means a lot of customers. And it's here in Toyosu, not far from the Toyosu market. Let me give you just a, qu a quick overview of, uh, with the map here. Where exactly in Tokyo are we right now? Um, we're, we're on a man-made island. This is uh, Toyosu. That's the La Vista Hotel, which is actually really nice. It has the number one breakfast in Japan, the Hakodate one. And, it's funny to see it right across the street, but this construction zone is now the Sankyaku Banrai, that bridge leading from uh, Ginza all the way to Toyosu, the fish market. is uh, There's a... On, a ...on a nice sunny day like today. It's, it's kind of nice to walk around the area. Um, you see over there, that's Lala Port, where the Kidzania is. This Stuff. There's a mega Uniqlo in there as well. It's about a 15 minute walk uh, along the waterway there, which is really pretty uh, section of Tokyo. Not a one that a lot of tourists go to. Many people are more in the center in Shibuya and that's just where we are right now in the city. Um, and by the way, just, just to point it out, there is a Lawson's here, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on food if you don't want to. You just go to the, the convenience store. All right, let's go check it out here. It's going to be uh, interesting for me as well because I have not been here. All right, there's a sushi shop and you can see the chefs there uh, cooking. So it, it's basically a place, everyone here is doing social media as well. So I'd say most of the people here are foreign tourists. Or visiting from other parts of Japan, perhaps. Fukagawa, this is... Um, an area near Monza Nakacho. They've got a lot of famous uh, foods in this area. And you can see that they've got a lineup of people. I love the way the insides look like food stands from the, from the past. And here is an, a, a, a knife store. So they're selling uh, knives. Famous, famous shop called uh, Kiwami, I suppose. Probably not the place where I would buy my knife. Kapabashi near Asakusa is, is probably going to get some better deals due to the competition, but you never know. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. They're making unagi here. I like the fact that you can, you can actually just look in the window and see them cooking the food. And the smell is wafting out the window that's open right now, out into the streets. あ、いいですか。すいません。あ。え。The <laughs> prices I was a little surprised. Okay, they're a little on the high end, but it's not too bad. That's about $40 for that, and that's actually really good for domestic unagi, which is freshwater eel, which is so good. Comes with soup and a set, and look, you know, they probably get the unagi from the market as well. You can get just the bento here for takeout, and the price, what, that's a lot of unagi. That's the same price, about $40 for that bento. 
Wow, and you can go and eat that on the river. It's, I, I don't know if it's something that I would do because I live not to, just down the street. But it sure smells good and you know it's going to be pretty good. There's a, a short line in there to, to eat. There's a, a gindakyo, which is takoyaki. There's a, a tamagoyaki, which is a grilled egg that, from a famous shop that's in Skiji. They also have a shop here at this market. This is fascinating. I like this little walk, uh, walk bridge, walk, what is this, like a, a covered bridge. Oh, you're getting here. That's that famous, um, what do you call that? Mont, uh, Mont Branc, or I, I, I forget, um, like a, it's, it's basically cootie or chestnut. And you see everybody is doing something like this for social media as well. Here he is, he's cranking it up for another go. They put, they put the frosting in there, or the uh, chestnut, and make it uh, on top of, what is it like a pudding or an ice cream? This is fascinating. What should I know? So he's putting like a matcha powder, or is, I'm not even quite sure. I've, I've, I've actually had this in, in um, uh, Shizuoka, where they make the green tea. So everybody who orders it uh, gets it, wants to film it so they can put it on social media. <laughs> this is kind of a cool, he's like cranking it here. All right, check this out. Release. The matcha flavored chet. Oh, that's so that's so pleasing to look at. Aloha, Michael Sasano. Look at that. All right, it makes me want to get. It makes me want to grab it as well. That's not bad. How much is that? Hold on a second. So there are the prices. I'm guessing it's like a thousand yen. That's not too bad. Oh, there it is down there. That's not too bad. The smells. Oh my gosh. There's a, a, such a mix of smells going on here. Well, it's, it's really easy to criticize places until you come here and then you start to think, you know what, this is kind of fun. Uh, this is taiyaki, you can probably get that, all right, th this is the big test here, how much is it? All right, on butter taiyaki, 400 yen. That's, that's definitely on the higher end, but yeah, it's, what is that, for foreign tourists, it's like $2.80 or something at the exchange rate, that's not too bad. Yakiniku restaurant. This reminds me of, of uh, Kawagoe a little bit in Saitama. That's more of an authentic experience because it's a real Edo town. Yay! <laughs> Sankyaku Banrai. Senkyaku, sorry. Sankyaku is tripod. <laughs> I was just filming, so I had that on my mind. Wow. Quite a vibe here. Kind of a little plaza. You can see the buildings, uh, more of a facade. And the fish market, you see the metal above there, that's the fish market, which uh, you can't really go inside. Quite a windy day today. But I like these, these uh, picnic tables, so you can get something from Lawson's for 100 yen and, and some taiyaki and just eat it here. So yeah, the food is a little pricey, but it doesn't mean that you have to buy the pricey stuff. You can get pretty much, oh, look at that. Feels very much like a festival here in Tokyo. So that's some yakitori going on there as well. That's a um, ayu, which is a sweet fish. I can get get a better view in here. Wow, you can have that that sweet uh, shoyu sauce kind of wafting over in this direction. The ayu fish, um, usually it's a sign of something that you find in the countryside, but you got that right here. 
It's so good. Usually it's, it's kind of a, um, put in some salt. And the, the, yeah, you can eat the fish in the, the head and the tail. It's kind of like the taste of the countryside to me. There's some restaurants um, on, the, on the ground floor. Did you walk over? Wow. So this is Magro here. This shop selling uh, grilled Magro as well. Ah, tataki. Tataki. Oh. Ima, soon you yaki mas ka? Ah, hondo? Hi. Eh, sate i desu ka? Hondo desu ka? Eh. Kogo de baat to hi ga omemasu. Ah, sugoi. Ah, tosu shimizu janakute doko doko. Tosu shimizu e susaki. Ah, susaki. Ah, ah, ah. So tataki is really delicious. But it's going to take a little bit. They use the straw here. So we'll come back a little bit here. I'm, I'm, I just finished an episode for the main channel on John Manjiro. It's, it's about 30 minutes long. It's taken forever to edit. I, I really apologize. I haven't put anything on there for a while, but when you watch it, you'll understand why. It's basically a 30 minute documentary that, that's on one of the most inspirational people that, uh, and someone who's really impacted me here in Japan, so. Oh, this is um, char-grilled uh, shrimp. Look at how big they are. Suine. It's really big. This is probably coming right from the fish market. So it tells you the prices in English. Uh, A5 Wagyu, which is spelled wrong, but I'll let, let that pass. 4,300 yen, and that's, that's a little bit much. I'd rather just get the King Prawn, which is on sale today. Hey, that's always good. You can see the prices are fairly reasonable. I think it's all, all coming fresh from the market. And here's the, the entrance from the riverside. So I want to show you here, um, now that we've kind of come, we've kind of come uh, uh, to the end of, of, the, of the line here, that's, that's pretty much it. Now there's some shops inside here. Let me show you the map. This is what it looks like. It, so apparently there's a third floor as well and you can go inside I guess it, that would be ideal if it's raining you don't want to walk down this place they wanted to make sure when they built this that you would have uh, a place to go in, in bad weather or cold weather it's kind of chilly with the wind coming as you can see in the in, in the in the inside it is uh, um, quite an interesting it's an interesting place I mean to be perfectly honest, it, I mean, th this is literally an eight minute bicycle ride from my house. So I might come back here again with Leo just for the heck of it. I mean, if you lived in the neighborhood, right? But it, it does have a pretty interesting vibe to it. And you're gonna have to be the judge whether or not you want to come here yourself. Um, that's up to you. I, I just present it. I, I think it's uh, initially got kind of a bad rap by showing that the food was super expensive and it kind of it's more expensive but there there are options so let me just take in the inside a little bit see if, if the signal holds out there's a lot of people here so i don't know if, if it's going to work what is that a brule a brule i'm not sure something matcha dessert Holy smokes, okay, so they, they, did, they did make something on the inside here. Fingers crossed on the signal, everybody. I, I'll do my very best, but. There's shop after shop after shop after shop inside of there. And I'll walk a little bit just to see what we can see. Oh, oh, they got a Japanese sake that you can try here, and they, they just told me that there's some sashimi that they just cut. So it does feel very much like a Japanese market. They're shouting at you, like, come over here for some sashimi, come on over here, we got some fresh seafood, we've got some, some wagyu grilling. 
over there. There's some stools that you can sit at the counter to experience, um, experience some food here. Uh, oh, this is the, tata the tataki. I was, I was hoping that they would be grilling the tataki. They get a really big fire going for that, but it doesn't look like they have it going right now. We'll come back. The thing with tataki is that when you get it, when you get it, it makes a really big... That's a good looking burger. Looks like they're grilling some beef there. Oyster bar. Looks like they're still building building uh, uh, booths and, and restaurants in here. There's a third floor that looks like it's got ramen. It's a okay. So the third floor is a food court. And there is some ramen up there, some gyudon, some uh, uh, places for, for maguro, some kaisendon. But it looks like you can, you can do like some street food here. Certainly going to give Toyosu Market, the uh, uh, sorry, Skiji Market a run for its money because Skiji Market has become quite famous for having street food now. This is more like a street food theme park. What is that? Okay, looks like that, that shop just opened. I'm not sure what that is, some kind of confection. Oh, wagashi, I think. There's some fruits and uh, you can see the flowers for them just opening up the market. It's brand new, this is brand new. That is interesting. Oh, this is that burger. This is the, the Maguro Katsu burger. Uh, oh, they, they just uh, took it away. The Maguro Katsu burger. This is interesting. And it's about, I don't know, like 10 bucks for that. That's not bad at all, really. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, there's some places that really do have lines. We've come, we've come uh, full circle here. I'm going to take you down to the first floor now to, to show you some of the um, uh, restaurants down there, just to give you a feeling. Uh, I'm walking this way just to see if they got the tataki going, because I'd love to show you that as a big fan of Coach Prefecture. I love that, it, that uh, prefecture down on the, the Shikoku side of Japan. All right, they don't have it going, the tataki. But if, if you do get a chance to try it, it is um, a grass-grilled, grass-charred um, bonito fish, which is famous down in Coach Prefecture off of the Pacific there, and it's so darn good. It's uh, mostly, mostly raw, but it's, it's uh, cooked on the outside, and it, it has that flavor of the grass or the hay that they use, and it, it's, it's one of my favorite things. You have some sea salt, uh, on there as well and you end up having an amazing meal let's see because they just ordered something maybe they're gonna they're gonna cook it up so i'm kind of excited let's just wait for a second i i, I have to be patient for the sh for the show here i'm hoping now that they start to uh start to grill okay wait hold on something's gonna happen i think he's gonna Somebody just ordered something, so maybe he's going to start to get a light, uh, a match, and start to torch, torch some of this tataki. Oh, there he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Chunks. There we go. All right, we have it. That is a big chunk. All right, get ready for the show. None of the tourists know what's, what's about to happen.
That's a pretty big piece of uh, of the fish there. Uh, here we go. Here we go. This is gonna this is gonna flame up real fast. Oh, mama! I'm getting real hungry. He's waiting for it to start to burn, and here we go. Now he's gonna put that uh, the fish in there. Ah, oh, there you go. It's in there. Oh, and it's taking on, it's, it's cooking, and it's also taking on the flavor of what it's being heated with. And that, that's going to make it, oh my gosh. He's moving the grass around a little bit. He's really stoking it up. Whoa. Now that's a fire. This <laughs> is Michael. Is that going back to Eddie Murphy? Oh, man. You had to be born in the 80s or, or the 70s to get that. Uh. Mm. <laughs> now people are starting to come. You can see it really does bring it. There's something something awesome about tataki. It just it brings people in when you see this mega fire. Look at it. The dancing flames. Yeah, no gas is used. That the ingredients probably all come in from Coach Prefecture, which I love. And there you go. Uh, I hope this is a, this gives you a pretty good overview of what you would get if you come to Senkyaku Banrai in Toyosu. Let's go down to the first floor to get to take a look and see what it's like down there. There's a third floor as well. I'm not gonna go up there. I'll leave that for you and your imagination. But there's ramen apparently. Oh, okay, across the street. You see the La Vista Hotel. I was telling you about that. The, the Hakodate Hotel, the La Vista Hakodate Bay has the number one breakfast or the top three breakfast in all of Japan. And we, I was talking about in the news, the Kaisen Don here was like $150 or something, which is just outrageous. But you can get an all-you-can-eat kaisen don inside the La Vista. I don't know about here, but the one in Hakodate, it's part of the breakfast. And you can load it up and eat uh, like crazy. Wow, it's just, it's so windy. All right, let's go quickly to... Uh, Just give it, give you an idea of what it looks like from the outside. It does look kind of like an old, old Edo period village. That gives me more of a, the vibes of a theme park than it does an actual, you know, like a real village. Because it's not. It's a theme park of food for tourists. You can't fault you can't fault them for trying, and I, I think I will probably come back. It's fun, it's fun. You get a chance to try a lot of street food, but I would say I don't. know, This is a tough one for me. Toyosu versus Skiji. Now there's a battle because now there's a reason to come to Toyosu because there really wasn't a lot here. Now they're starting. There's hotels. There's the La Vista. I think there's a Jal Hotel nearby. There's uh, you know the market which has guided tours, but it's not the same thing like it was in Skiji. Of course, they've modernized it all. Uh, I'm going to take you down to the the waterway and show you another reason why you might want to come here. But the best way to really understand whether or not it's worth it is to watch this video and then do your homework. I guess that's what what I'm trying to say, and this is part of it for me too. Across the river and across this bridge right here, you, you get straight to Ginza and you'll see... You'll see that's the Olympic Village and they just started moving in residents uh, <laughs> like two years after the Olympics is over. 
it, what a disaster of a project, but it, they just opened up across. So if you go across this bridge, there's also a, another shopping mall that just opened up like about three weeks ago. So that's kind of an exciting development, but that's mostly locals and residents. And Kanai said, let's go and check it out. And I said, okay, but maybe not this week because I have to finish a couple of videos. However, it's a pretty exciting thing when uh, all these things start to open up in your city and things uh, feel new again. This is the reason why I, I've been running here along this path for the last six years since I moved to this area of Tokyo. It's really wonderful. Uh, no traffic, no cars, lots of open space. You can walk here. There's a barbecue area that you have to rent though. And the place that probably Kanai and I go to the most is right at the end here. Do you see that orange building in the center? That's Lala Port, which is a shopping mall. And you'll, you might find us there on the weekends, just having a coffee or hanging out for an hour or so. It's what I do, because I, I live, this is sort of my backyard. Ginza is my front, no wait, if Ginza is my front, if backyard, this is my front yard. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting, interesting. You can see I have the bicycles just right here. I parked it somewhat illegally um, with, you know, Leo's seat right here. He just uh, had his third birthday. We went to Tokyo Disneyland for his party. It was a really fun time. Um, but I'm glad to be back home because it's just so crowded to go to Tokyo Disneyland. And it was so, and this is a Monday and you saw how crowded it was. That was a Monday. I wonder what it's like on the weekend. But you get really beautiful views of Tokyo Bay. If you go all the way down to the end, that's my favorite place. I'll buy a bento and I'll go to the end and there is this like, I guess like a, like um, amphitheater seating where you can watch the boats over the Tokyo Bay and I, I Tokyo Harbor. I, I've been there taking you there like three or four times in other live streams, but it's one of my favorite places to just sit outside in particular on a warm day. Not today because it's just kind of chilly with the wind, but it's uh, well, thank you, Daniel, for the happy belated birthdays for Leo. He, he really appreciated that. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Uh, all right, guys, that's all I got for you. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in another episode pretty soon as I take you to someplace new, possibly tomorrow. Uh, tonight, I'll probably be going to Shinjuku. I might do a quick live stream from there, but I have to get some uh, video for an episode that I'm doing on food in Shinjuku, which I hope will be released uh, this coming weekend or so. It's good, it's good news. All right, everybody. Matane. See ya. Stay warm. It's cold out here. It's windy. Oh, cherry blossoms are just starting to bloom. So you probably see some uh, blossom videos coming up pretty soon as well.